Hi, welcome to BE Tech Talks. My name is Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about water transfer pumps. All our pumps are rated the same way, which is GPM, PSI, suction lift, and total lift. So what does that mean, you might ask? GPM stands for gallons per minute, and all that is, is at the rate at which the fluid flows from the pump. PSI stands for pounds per square inch, so that is the pressure at which the water flows. Suction lift is the height at which the pump can suck water to the pump from the water source. And lastly, total lift is the combined maximum height that the pump can push the water out the discharge, including the suction lift. Water transfer pumps are intended to pump large volumes of clean water for things such as flooded fields or irrigation systems. Here in front of me we have laid out the internal components of this water transfer pump. Starting with the pump joint, the impeller, the volute, the pump body with the outlet already installed, and the inlet with the flapper valve. Each of these components is designed specifically for pumping large volumes of water. For example, the impeller has taller fins which will suck in more water which helps it then push out more water. And other things like larger tolerances within the pump that allow more water volume to flow through. Now keep in mind that all of these concepts apply to all water transfer pumps that we sell. This is a 2 inch for example, but this would apply for the 3 inch and the 4 inch model. I'm Ryan, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out our other videos. See you next time.